Anybody who has lost someone that is that close to you will always carry that pain. You know, you can cut my arm off, you can cut my legs off, but when you lose a family member like that, it hurts you, it devastates you forever. But you know what? You owe that person to get back up and strive ahead and try harder. You know, you just gotta, gotta get going, gotta get up there, gotta keep going. My fellow Australians, we gather in this special place that Steve created to celebrate the life of a remarkable man and a remarkable Australian. He taught our children in particular to love and respect all creatures great and small. In everything he did, he was direct, he was genuine and oh so Australian, and that is what we love so much about him. We grieve with you, but we celebrate this remarkable life, this life that projected Australia in such a robust, hopeful way to the rest of the world. And as we share this celebration and we honour this life, can I say to you, Terry, and the rest of your family, there are 20 million pairs of Australian arms reaching out to embrace you this morning. Thank you. I will never forget the first day he let me feed my first croc. Steve had waited impatiently for his mum and dad to leave the zoo on a field trip. The moment we waved, <laughs> the moment we waved goodbye, Steve -O said, hey mate, it's about time you fed Anvil. Anvil was a 14 foot saltwater crocodile. I said, you bet, mate. <laughs> I was only 15 at the time, so my voice hadn't quite broken. I fed Anvil without a hitch, and I will never forget his beaming smile that day. He was so proud. It did not matter if I was catching crocs in northern Australia or venomous snakes in Africa. If Steve-O was nearby, I felt I could achieve anything. He had that effect on the people around him. But by far, Steve's greatest achievement has been as a dad. His love and dedication to his children has been inspiring. He was a true natural. Steve has become my brother, mentor and best mate. To the world he was a hero, to me he was my hero. He saved my life. I'll miss you mate. At dawn the magpies sing and by day the black cockatoo wing their way across a sunny sky. The koala, possum, Dingo and carpet snake are silent on the land below. A mist covers the mountains. We and our land are crying for you. Steve, you jumped, laughed and worked for us. Thank you. Good on you, Steve. We call across the world to you and we want you to join us. When I say three, we'll all join and Lyndon will lead you. One, two, three. Come! Again. Steve had a passion for all wildlife, but he simply fell in love with elephants. And his three favourite girls were Siam, Sabu and Bimbo. So here they come. Today, Steve Dad's Bob, daughter Bindi, and sister Joy will feed the girls, as Steve always loved to do. <laughs> Steve's ultimate goal was to conserve wildlife. He knew to achieve this, he had to bring wildlife so close that you could not help but fall in love with its natural beauty and then you'd want it to conserve and protect it. Hey girls. G'day, I'm John Stanton, I'm Steve's best mate, his producer, director, manager and partner. Today I want to share with you the way he changed my life forever. 
From the time we first met, we clicked. The khaki-clad wildlife warrior and the city slicker became the best of friends over 20-odd years, and they were odd. We worked together. All of you know the Steve in front of the camera. What you didn't know is that Steve was behind the camera as well, filming those tricky, dangerous shots which transformed all of our documentaries into what was must-watch TV shows was actually Steve himself. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Terry, Bindi and Bob, and my two girls, Mandy and Joy, for your kind thoughts, letters, flowers and sympathy, Please don't grieve for Steve. He's at peace now. But I'd like you to grieve for the animals. For the animals have lost the best friend they ever had. And so have I. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. my hero. He was always there for me when I needed him. He listened to me and taught me so many things. But most of all, he was fun. I know that Daddy had an important job. He was working to change the world so everyone would love wildlife like he did. He built a hospital to help animals and he bought lots of land to give animals a safe place to live. He took me and my brother and my mum with him all the time. We filmed together, caught crocodiles together and loved being in the bush together. I don't want Daddy's passion to ever end. I want to help endangered wildlife just like he did. I had the best Daddy in the whole world, and I will miss him every day. When I see a crocodile, I will always think of him, and I know that Daddy made this zoo so everyone could come and learn to love all the animals. Daddy made this place his whole life. Now it's our turn to help Daddy. Thank you. Give me a home among the gum trees, with lots of gum trees. I